Hello everyone in this uh, second video tutorial for the experimental test of the TF Mini Pulse uh, LiDAR module. Uh, so briefly in the previous video we were just trying to extract uh, only the distance information from this sensor which as you can see here uh, byte number two and uh, three all right however extracting also the signal strength of the sensor and also the internal temperature of it they are so important as well and essential uh, i'm totally agree with you if we are just talking about uh hobby and simple projects we just don't care about the other uh bytes however if we are trying to uh, involve or are we are planning to involve this uh, sensor in an industrial and uh, uh, important application so we have to take care about these uh, other bytes as well uh, since as I will explain later on they are like giving to us like an indication if this uh, uh, measured distance uh, value creditable or not all right um, so first of all the signal strength it's they are like two um, uh, bytes as we said right so it's 16 uh, bits and the range is from 0 till uh, this value as you can see here okay uh, if we receive a signal strength equals to or less than 100 uh, it or it is equals to, equals to this value it means that we cannot rely uh, on the uh, measured distance from the sensor all right which is actually will be set to zero as well um, as we will see later on in the experimental test that the signal strength is actually uh, depending also on the uh, measured distance so we will see that that if the measured distance is low the signal strength is a, is a little bit higher and if we try to measure like uh, a far away ob object we will find that uh, the measured distance uh, sorry the signal strength will get lower all right uh, for the temperature uh, actually the measured temperature is not for the environment it is actually for the chip uh, temperature of this lidar module itself and we have to understand that uh, the degree it will be in uh, centigrade and we have to do uh, a little bit um, further uh, processing to the uh, two bytes uh, that we will uh, receive here all right so these two bytes in all in, in order to convert them into centigrade we have to divide them first by eight and then to subtract uh, 256 uh, uh, from the, the result of this operation all right uh, why such a value the temperature value it's so important because it's again it's uh, an indication if we are like having a reliable data or not from this uh, sensor because as we can see here at the beginning that the, the the operating temperature of this product supposed to be within this range right so if the measured uh, temperature is exceeding or near uh, these uh, lower and upper limits it means that we will not get a reliable data from this sensor all right and we cannot depend on the decision uh, that could be taken based on this uh, particular sensor right and maybe we need to um, to cool it down or to do like um, other functions to make it reliable all right um, so so now let's uh, try to connect the FPGA to the PC All right uh, the next step we 
we just need to configure it so now it is uh, reading the value from the sensor all right and then we have to make sure that we are using any software which uh, can allow us to receive this kind of serial data from the sensor adjust the parameters and then we need to start um, I wrote actually a certain uh, VHDL code on this chip that allows me to read the the bytes from the from the sensor and then I will I actually divide each uh, information uh, separately so I have like a sub block that isolate or extract the data which is responsible for the measured distance another sub block which is just isolate or extract the data which corresponds cor corresponding to uh, the um, the signal strength and then another block to extract the information which is related to the temperature of the sensor right and then based on these uh, two switch two two dip switches on our like um, on our uh, right we can adjust which uh, information that we want to send to the pc as what we will see uh, later on all right so if these two values or, or, or the switch status uh, are equals to zero zero it means that nothing will be uh, sending to the, the the pc as you can see but if we are interesting to measure the distance so all what we have to do is to make uh, these uh, two switches or the status of these two switches equals to uh, one zero right so once i like trying to make it equal make the status equals to one zero we will find here that the gui is starting to measure the distance uh, between the sensor and the ceiling as you can see here all right and now it's uh, 106 or 170 centimeter all right all right if I just try to put my hand a little bit so we can see that the distance will be dropped to four centimeters far away a little bit five centimeters and then seven centimeters if I remove it completely so it will return back to 169 or 170 centimeters all right what if I want now to measure or to extract or to display the information which is related to uh, the signal strength or the temperature, let's say the temperature. So the status of these switches is supposed to be equals to uh, zero, 01. So let's me adjust it to zero, 01. And now if we return back here to this GUI, we will find that it will display the measured uh, internal temperature of this module which is as we can see it's plus 46 uh, degrees in Celsius all right actually after a while of operating we will find that the temperature or, or the internal temperature will be uh, increased a little bit so after like maybe a couple of minutes it will be increased to 47 48 and so on right uh, but now as we can see we are just in the safe side so we don't have any problems with the temperature what if we want to see the signal strength so if you want to adjust the signal strength uh, adjust the FPGA in this uh, project to measure or to display the signal strength so all what you have to do is just try to uh, make the status equals to uh, one one so this is which need to be equals to one as well all right and directly we can find that the gui will start displaying the um, signal strength 
that the sensor is, uh, which is responsible for the measured data. Now, it is uh, 1,800, right? Because it's a little bit like far distance. If I just try to put my hand, so we can find uh, that the signal strength actually went higher, right? Uh, if I remove it one more time, so it will be dropped. If I try to aim it to a, a far target, right? Um, so we will find that it will be uh, dropped uh, too much, right? So now it's less than 900, okay? And if I, for sure, if I will be like um, in outdoor conditions, so for sure it will be dropped uh, lower than 200, all right? I will try to make it uh, pointing to a far object. But you know, like I just, I'm just in the small room, so we cannot detect these kind of things. But again, like, see, if I just put my hand, so the signal strength is now like uh, higher because we have like um, uh, a close object. All right, if I just remove it, so we'll find that the value of the signal strength will be dropped one more time. All right, okay. Uh, if we return back to measure the temperature of the sensor, so I believe it will be a little bit higher. So let me adjust uh, the switches, the dip switches. So I need to make it equals to uh, zero one, one more time. So we can see that the, now the temperature went up to 56 degrees Celsius. All right. So uh, I have no idea why this sensor uh, is, uh, or that internal temperature went that high within like a couple of second, uh, minutes, uh, which was actually give, giving to us like uh, something really important, um, which is how to, um, to, to deal with these sensors in outdoor and indoor conditions. Like for example, if we can see that uh, the temperature is, is going so high, now it's like 57 degrees Celsius, right? So we can just try to do something like sending commands to um, reduce the, the, the rate of sending the data, the frame rate uh, value, right? So we can like trying to uh, reduce the amount of power of the sensor and so on. Uh, wish that you like this video. This is uh, the, uh, what we want to display in this video. Uh, see you uh, in the next videos and thank you for watching.